Hello everybody, welcome back to the L1 show where you share links with your friends. Today is June 6th and we're doing government and security links to share with your friends. How was your week? Uh, you know, it was the holiday. Was, yeah, I kept thinking kinda, it was the wrong day. You're kind of behind and then uh -huh. uh, I got some stuff done. Uh. It wasn't the best week. Also, it seems like everybody's still on vacation or checked out or whatever. Yeah, definitely got that kind of feeling this week. But, uh... I don't have a lead in from there. You know no. who's not checked out? These nuclear companies. I don't uh, also can't remember why I decided to go with this first. US announces forty six million in funds to eight nuclear fusion companies. That's a lot of funds. I, well, not really. Well, yeah, Compared I guess to, comparatively, yeah. I mean we give that away every day. But uh I'm hyped for nuclear fusion. Yeah, that'd be cool. I would like to see that. Seems like a good deal. I'll be doing research. Hopefully they find something. One thing I'm not hyped about is government surveillance. Mm. And that sucks because it is perpetual and it's everywhere and it just gets worse. There's a new one. A new report says American government agencies are using malware similar to banned Pegasus soft spyware, not software. Uh, I hate the clickbait because they don't name it in the headline. I, they were kind of weird in the article as well about what it was called. Like I couldn't find a name. Paragon Graphite. Okay. They were just like the spyware that is similar to Pegasus. And I was like, can we also, not say it? Also, government agency, American government agencies, it's actually just the DEA that yeah. we know. And there's probably. I'm sure, yeah, they're all over. But we know that the DEA is using it. So the DEA is willing to spy on your phone and infect you with malware to get their information about those evil substances that you're using. This person just has a whole folder full of memes. They're we're not gonna, even good ones. We got a story about that nonsense. Uh. The worst memes. And uh, last week it was uh, who was it? Was it Minnesota? Was it Minnesota? I think so. I think so. Yeah. They mentioned in this article the other states that enacted it. So we got Colorado, New York, Minnesota has been the best one, and now California Senate passes Right to Repair Act. Apparently, they've had this going for a while, and this is the first time they passed it. Yeah, they've been arguing about it. Obviously, all the various. Uh, tech companies and car companies never have been lobbying hard, right? Trying to get the exceptions. It's failed once before, so that's, I wondered. So I read this whole article and I couldn't find a link to the actual verbiage, but this was mostly like a lot of puff. I was like, I wonder if those lobbying groups swayed it, so it's well, not as powerful. The reason you haven't seen it is because this is just the Senate, mm. so the governor has to sign it. I think actually it goes back to like committee for discussion after this. Okay, so still more steps. But a good step, hopefully. We'll see. It could be a waste of time. Oh. And uh, the, of course, the big story this week was AI, as it has oh, been. Yeah, for the last. <laughs> it's only. It's weird because AI was not like a big story until like what November last year, something like that, December. Well, yeah, Chat GPT. That's, yeah, that kicked it off, and then here we are. It's it's everywhere. But there is this constant argument about: Do we regulate it? Do we not? It seems like in America. We're kind of just going to let it run, at least for now. Because the tech companies own us, so. EU doesn't host the tech companies like we do, so they're a little bit more critical of it. And then you get that whole like, well, wait a minute. We share all the data, so what's that going to mean? Chat GPT risks divide. Biden administration over EU's AI rules. I, you butchered that. I would butcher that. <laughs> it's like lost. Anyway. The Biden administration is torn about how to respond to how EU is doing things. Yeah. That's what it's supposed to say. Obviously, a lot of people in the Biden administration, you know, they love that lefty EU style of doing things. Government controls everything. Some of the other people are like, well, if we do that, then China and Russia are just going to run away with this because, you know, they're not going to. Yeah, they're not going to regulate it. So uh, what do we do? What kind of rules do we put on it? They're going to try to decide. I don't think it's going to matter too much because much like gunpowder. You're not going to stop people. No. Unless you try it, to control the hardware in some way. It, it does feel like like it does need some kind of regulation, but I don't know what that even would even look like. Yeah. How do we stop it? Yeah. And the Supreme Court, man, they've been kicking a lot of cans this yeah. court season, just refusing everything. Also, remember this headline is a minefield. Yeah. U.S. Supreme Court declines to hear bid to sue Reddit over... Horrible things. Yeah. I bet that's demonetized too. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, the question is, is Reddit responsible for what someone uploads there? They do 
try they claim they make some attempt to get rid of it i mean but uh, on a site as big as reddit like yeah but ultimately this is not an argued argument about this stuff this is an argument about section 230 right which is what people want the supreme court to rule on but they continue to refuse to do so I feel like I've seen a lot of headlines recently where they're like, decline to rule on it. Yeah. And it's like, what are you doing? Are they just on summer break? They're like, you know, it was a holiday. And so they just took the whole week. You know what? If they wanted more holidays, you know what they could do? Retire. Mm. But then you don't get cool bribes. <laughs> but uh, we did have one judgment this week that is very, very good. Really happy to see this yeah. one. This is not. You know, this could be appealed further up the chain. It's not necessarily the end of it, but you love to see this kind of stuff. Federal judge makes history in holding that border searches of cell phones require a warrant. So up until now, they could research, they could search just about anything yeah. at the border, uh, whether you're a citizen or not. And the border, what what is it, like 100 miles? Plus, like airports. Yeah. You know? So, yeah. It's it just little, literally anywhere. Yeah. A lot of uh, power that they were given here to search whatever they want. And now they will have to get a warrant. They'll have to show cause. They hate that. Yeah, good news. Hopefully they stick to that. And uh, was it Massachusetts instead of Minnesota? I don't remember now. Because Massachusetts definitely has a right to repair I law. think Massachusetts is one of the first ones. Maybe. But uh, obviously, you know, these things take a while to spin up. Massachusetts has started, I think. I didn't see a follow-up on this. But of course, right up until the last minute, they were battling bitterly to mm. try and stop it. Car makers ask judge to block Massachusetts' right to repair law, which could be enforced on June 1st. Hey, that's in the past now. Yeah. So this is about the telemetry. They have a special word for it. It's like telematics. Yeah, telematics. Because now to get some information from the car, rather than going through the onboard diagnostics, they have a wireless setup that they can do. They won't share that technology with shade tree technicians. So it does prevent them from doing some things to the car. Uh, this right to repair was good enough. This law that said you have to do that. And boy, did they not want to. Yeah. And uh, this is my favorite. One of my favorite stories of the week. This just goes to show you that these government policies, these little things they do just for show. They don't care. And they don't plan for any sort of longevity to no. them. They don't think about... They just want the headline for the week. No government official is sitting there thinking, but wait a minute, what about a decade down the road? Oh, I'll be out of office by then. Unless I'm on the Supreme Court. Maryland license plates now inadvertently advertise Filipino online casino. You should scroll down so they can see the full picture. They're watching. I thought that girl looked a little bit AI generated. What do you think? Yeah, Look or at she's her, heavily her filtered. very triangle. So there's actually a filter... On some of those apps now, it's like little suck your face in on the bottom. Make is that attractive? Like... I don't think that's attractive. It makes her look evil. It's it's a weird look, but that is a filter now. Well, anyway, deposit 100, receive 250. So this was uh, Star Spangled 200. It was for the, it's commemorating the War of 1812. Right. So it happened in 2012, which was 200 years. The bicentennial celebration of the War of 1812, it, which happened a lot in Maryland. And uh, they're proud of it. I guess, but yeah. They eventually got tired of that, renewing that domain, I guess, and said, yeah, we're just going to let that go. And this uh, Filipino gambling site. That's hilarious. Snapped that it they right up. up. Apparently, the Philippines has a big uh, tourism gambling industry. It's interesting. Can you gamble in Maryland? I don't know. I'm sure you can in some manner. They got a lottery at least, right? Oh, yeah. And our poor senators, my God, they are so preyed Tragic. upon. It's so dangerous for them to exist and take advantage of us in every way possible. I can't imagine why the people would be angry at them, but good news. Senators issued satellite phones, offered demonstrations on upgraded security devices. They got like a bunker, a lockdown protocol. There's a sergeant at arms for Congress. <laughs> Where were they? On a certain date. Well, that's what spawned all of this. Uh, so that was the excuse to do all this nonsense. I would argue that a republic works best when the leaders are in fear of the people. Be we a little scared. Have, we've lost that in a big way. Now, this is uh, the Spider-Man story of the week. 
And of course, I'm uh, talking about the Spider-Man meme where the two Spider-Men are pointing at one another because this is hypocrisy on an astonishing scale. U.S. won't tolerate China's ban on Micron chips, C- Commerce Secretary says. Uh, China banned these chips because I think we banned some of their stuff. It's just like well, a slap fight. They said it was because it failed the security review, which is exactly what we said about Huawei. Right. It's literally a mirror story. Yeah. Yeah. Now, one side might be true and one might not. I suspect both probably are true. Yeah. That's that's why they're the same Spider-Man pointing at each other. I don't know what we're going to do about it when we say we won't tolerate it. Yeah. There was no action mentioned in the article. It was just angry words. I guess we'll ban something else from there. I don't know. Well, maybe we'll arrest some people because when this this trade war and now, you know, heating up to be something worse, there's a lot of innocent bystanders that are going to get crushed by this because, you know, U.S. hates China and vice versa. This poor guy, he did end up in that, but now he might get a little comeuppance. After being wrongfully accused of spying for China, Professor wins appeal to sue the government. This happened in 2015. So quite a while ago. And his legal costs have been overwhelming. Yeah. He's now retired. Uh, he also got raided by the FBI. They took everything out of his house. Yeah, it took a long time before they finally just dropped the case and they're like, oops, our bad. And of course, can't sue him because of the whole qualified immunity nonsense. But now a judge has ruled, yes, he can sue because it was egregious what they did to him. The truly the American way. Yeah, that's the new American way, right? Yeah. In that case, though, I think it's warranted. And we have another class action settlement. And boy, is that number small. And the number that each individual person is going to get, even smaller. U.S. judge rejects challenges to Apple's 50 million keyboard settlement. I think it ended up being like 300 some dollars, depending on how many keyboards you had. But you had to get them repaired. Mm. If you just didn't like your keyboard and you didn't get it repaired, you get nothing. But good news they did approve $15 million for counsel, so the lawyers got paid. Oh, thank goodness. We have a really good lawyer story later on. I think it's in the AI section. And as a people, we are uh, tuned out, pretty much. When you go outside, you don't want to look around and see the horror around you. You just want to stare at your phone. Just give me my drip feed of social media, and don't bother me about things like traffic. Florida City installs road sign to warn drivers of smartphone zombies. Oh, the cops saw, are here. That's, no, it's the smartphone zombies. Oh. They're coming for us. I saw a better uh, thing that they did. I don't know if it was in maybe on the West Coast. It might have been in like an Asian country or something. But they had a little laser that shoots along the ground mm-hmm. and turns red and green based on the, wow. the traffic light. So you can see You don't it. even have to look up. Yeah. That's... <laughs> That's so dark. It's But it's more practical than this. Yeah. I mean, people, I think this was more for a joke. A lot of people were laughing and saying, it's a small town in Florida. And how much it cost to send the crew out to put up those signs? That was probably, a crew was probably like one guy. Just one guy with a nail. Uh, it's a county work crew? Yeah. Have you never seen them? There's eight guys and one of them's working. That's the time-honored tradition. I actually worked on one of those for a summer job for a little while. Yeah. That's exactly what we did. Just stood around? Yeah. They were just looking for stuff to get it like, okay, go do this. And then you'd pretend to go do that. Uh, we have a big uh, anti-piracy push. It seems like the copyright people are just being given carte blanche to do whatever they want, and they are hitting hard. Flawless IPTV, men behind UK's largest pirate service, jailed for 30 plus years. That's uh, a clickbait headline because no one got 30 years. That was all of them added All together. One guy, I think the worst was 11. That guy ended up, they made it based on how much money they got out of it. Uh-uh. So one guy got a couple of million. He got the worst sentence and then it trickled down. I think one guy just got like three years. That's still. 22 months. But uh, yeah, they served a lot of people. Yeah. And they were just straight up stealing it. It's true. They were stealing it. And China is, uh, you know, they're not big fans of expression, personal expression, unless you're expressing your love for the Communist Party. And so they have made some new rules about social media. China deletes 1.4 million social media posts in crackdown on self-media accounts. What is self-media, you ask? Well, that's just China's newspeak way of saying 
any new the word we're not allowed to say basically we're doing self media here right mm. we're not a major corporation but we're telling you what might have happened in the world and that's not allowed no. only approved media outlets no commentary yeah another uh way that we could have phrased this headline is china takes same stance on news as youtube yeah oh you you said it you said oh. the word you said news And uh, this is just tangentially related to technology, but I thought it was fun. Yeah, I, China, I liked this. You know, they're getting into, they're doing some digging. China begins drilling a 10 kilometer deep hole in Earth's crust. China digging its way to China. So, I don't know, they'd be coming here. Yeah. Uh, oh my gosh, they're going to invade. Through the Earth's crust. Molten Ooh. communists. Um, I think the... Uh, the core taught us that there's actually just a big empty crystal cavern inside of the earth. So hollow earth is a conspiracy theory. A lot of people believe that really yeah. the movie, the core also, they didn't really explore the conspiracy. It just had all the actions set inside of the core. I'm sure they drew from it. Maybe. Yeah. It's an was, old movie. Was there not like a guy who they researched with, who was like, I know the secrets. I know the real. Story. No, the, so the plot of the core is that the earth's core stops spinning and they have to nuke the core. To get it to spin again, it's very silly. Of course, that would work. And, they, well, and the, only, the way they get down to the core is that it's empty. Like there's an empty layer, so they, that's how they get their equipment in. They have to dig down, and then they're in like a cave. Were there any dinosaurs in there? No. They missed a, a chance for dinosaurs there. Now, this unfortunately will not be uh, the record. There's actually already a 12 kilometer hole in Russia. Right. So China's not number one. They said, um, too, like once you get to a certain depth, like the rocks are super hard and it gets really, really hot, which makes sense. And they're like, it works really, really hard to, to actually do that. And I was like, why? If why you, then? If you asked me, you were like, write down 10 things that you would expect in the center of the earth. For sure on my list would be heat and hard rocks. Mm. India, uh, boy, are they making some weird choices. It seems as they push into being the next uh, tech builder society they're taking china's role they're moving up into that middle class a lot of people are in the government don't like that and they're trying to hang on to the old ways india cuts periodic table and evolution from school textbooks experts are baffled there's a lot of stuff cut I, yeah. it was really confusing to me because especially because you mentioned like india seems to be positioning itself as like a new tech hub and I, like that seems very at odds you think uh, they'd want to prepare their students for that yeah you want to train them to be effective in those jobs but they're not doing it. They were criticized, obviously, and the response was, well, we feel that the children aren't ready for some of this stuff at those levels. Yeah, they, they moved a bunch of the stuff up, but it's only, I guess, you only get science education up through 10th grade. And then if you decide you can take other science courses as an elective past that, and only the kids who take it as an elective will get evolution and the periodic table and basic stuff like that. I feel like the periodic table... Not just a scientist needs that. Is that, yeah, is that controversial? I could, I could help you in all of life. Yeah. <laughs> See, learn which one of those things are, you know, deadly. Mm. There are a couple in there that you want to stay away from. We have learned that many countries, when they have these uh, national exams in their schools, which of course won't cover the periodic table in India, <laughs> they are really, really serious about cheating because it's such an important part of your life. Just turn off the internet, right? And country after country does it. Internet disruptions registered during school exams. So, There's a whole big list in this article. But Iraq was the, the the latest one. That's the reason I use this yeah paywall alternative. They had their big exam and they shut it right down. From 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. local time. 4 a.m.? Yeah, I so say, when do they start these exams? I remember when I did the uh, ACT. I think I, we started at like 7, 7. No, that's the time of the exam. Right. But th are they starting at 4 a.m.? Yes. That's insane. Yeah. Maybe that's... it's. How do you like, even have a chance to get a good breakfast before you take your test? Is that like the Navy SEALs where they want you to like do it while you're stressed? I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they got a chart here. Wow. Rip. I'll be so annoyed if school children made me not have internet. Although I'd probably sleep through you'd, that. Yeah, you'd be sleeping through that. But what a weird time. Maybe that's why they do the exam so early, so it doesn't disrupt mm -hmm. as many industries. I don't know. 
Now, we've seen this story before, and of course, the headline seems obvious, but they're not talking about the obvious part. They're talking about the horrible back-end stuff that's happening. Amazon's ring used to spy on customers, FTC says, in privacy settlement. So this was a guy working at Amazon Ring, using his control panel to spy on a particular woman. Ugh, always. It's Who's... always a creep, right? Well, I mean, why else would you do it? Right? Yeah. Unless you're just... Just weirdly curious, or... yeah. Uh, she... Maybe you want to see how they arrange their furniture in their house. Mm -hmm. But she was insane in the fact that she put this in her bedroom. Uh, anyway, they settled. I can't remember how much it was, but it wasn't very much. And Amazon says, we admit to no wrongdoing, but we're happy to put this behind us. I bet you are. It's a hard one to explain away. Uh, Keep reading with this special offer. Can you make that out? No. <laughs> well, I can see bits of the words. Try to put it together. Millions of PC mm, with a firmware backdoor. So that should be easy. What Compromised. P what PC part would be start with MO and have a firmware? Motherboard. Right. Gigabyte. I can just see the M. Gigabyte. I guess that could be a C, couldn't it? Yeah. It could be like a McHappy Meal. PC McHappy Meal. I don't think they sell motherboards. You don't or, know well, No, they don't have firmware. Happy Meals don't have firmware. No. They will someday. So the Gigabyte motherboards, when you boot them up, they will try to call home to Gigabyte. And if there's an update, they will install it and they will never tell you anything about that. So what if I were to, I don't know, on my DNS locally, spoof that domain with my own thing and trick you into rebooting a PC on my network. Then I could overwrite your gigabyte firmware. Oops. Also, what happens in 10 years, like Maryland, when they don't register that domain again. Yeah. And now you got old gigabyte boards and then somebody gets that, a bad actor gets that. Then you need to buy a new gigabyte board because, Obviously. Yeah. yeah. So, that's a, a stupid move. I mean, I understand that people won't update, but that's not the answer, is it? Uh, will pe I mean, I guess some people don't, but like, isn't that kind of the joy of having the PCs that you you do some of the the tinkering? At least that is for like Wendell, I know, especially. I Wendell might be a, a far out use case there, but. I kind of felt that like, way when I was younger, but then I just hit a point where I was like, I just want this to work. Yeah. I'm interested yeah. in other things now. And that's certainly not what we have these days. Uh, the I'm just infuriated by the fact that you can't take part in certain aspects of society. Like health insurance. I just had this issue with my health insurance. They want information from me. I'm like, no, you don't need that information. Leave me alone. But they insist on it. And they insist on it when you do dental insurance as well. Ransomware attack on U.S. dental insurance giant exposes the data of 9 million patients. What an odd photo they've picked for this. They they purposely <laughs> chose skulls that don't have teeth. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. should be. They should have done like teeth all over it. Uh, managed care of North America. Apparently, this is in Atlanta. But yeah, I think I've never heard of this. I think the whole country can use it, or at least maybe just the South. They got they got hit, and um, it's the usual suspect of what they got. Name, address, date of birth, phone number, email, social security number, driver's licenses. Uh, and if you had a kid that with right. this insurance, they have your information. You have to put in your information instead of your kid's information. I don't know how that works. If you have like a dependent, I guess. Maybe, yeah. Someone who's covered by your insurance. So if you have that insurance, watch out. <sighs> you know what? I would love anybody who would take my dental insurance in this town. Yeah. I just pay out of pocket for my dentist. I'm going to have to because, yeah, I can't find anybody. When I offered them, my, they were just like the girl laughed a little bit. She was like, no, we don't. Take we that. don't take that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, why am I paying for it? Uh, yeah, they were actually like, why don't you just like instead of paying that, just put that money in a checking account and to save it. You'll yeah. come out ahead, which is true. Raid Forum. Uh, we covered this story. The Raid Forum was one of these uh, forums that didn't like DDoS and they sold leaked information and stuff like that. Nasty folks. Mm. And they got taken down by the government. But apparently, either the government didn't secure that database very well, or it was already compromised. Raid Forum's user data leaked online a year after DOJ takedown. Oops. There's a, a nice little bit of irony in that. Huh? Yeah. I was just so upset. And it's like, oh, this is yeah. how it feels, isn't it? There's a new site that replaced them. And that database is on that site. So... <laughs> 
It's just it's, it's the fish eating the bigger fish. Yeah, over and over. There's always another over. fish. <laughs> and Freenom, we've talked about Freenom. Freenom is a site which gives you some uh, domain registration, and they ask very very few questions. So obviously, a lot of bad actors were using it. Meta decided to sue them. Phishing domains tanked after Meta sued Freenom. Uh, look at this graph. <laughs> wow. So they, uh, yeah, their market share dropped precipitously. I think they started taking things a little bit more seriously after that lawsuit. It must be just miserable to get sued by Meta because what are you going to do about it? Actually, we're going to learn a little bit more about that with Amazon later on. Yeah, you just don't have the money for it. And another malware that is very, very easy to get infected with and we don't know much about how to stop. Inner workings revealed for Predator, the Android malware that exploited five zero days. What a name. So we got a bunch of uh, countries where we found this in the wild. Obviously, a lot of these countries, we consider the government to be a little bit oppressive. Egypt, Indonesia, Oman, Saudi Arabia, and Serbia. Of course, I say that sitting in a country that has an oppressive government. This used a variety of different malwares all packaged together to do one big hack. And it was apparently very effective. They get you with a text message, then the text message would delete itself. After infecting you, you never even knew it happened. That's crazy. And here's a little bit of a contested story. Russia says US hacked thousands of iPhones in iOS zero click attacks. So they claim that they have just been overwhelmed with this what they claim is state-sponsored malware. They say Apple is in league with NSA and they're working together to compromise them. Of course, immediately Apple did a press release. Apple denies surveillance claims made by Russia's FC FSB. Blech. So yeah, Apple says, no way, man. We would never do that. We respect all of our customers. We would not spot <laughs> We respect all of our customers equally. Um, but we respect some a little bit more, like the U.S. government and the Chinese government. It's not hard to believe that the NSA could work that out with Apple. Yeah. But uh, yeah. I'm sure Apple would fight it. I don't know if they would be able to. Hopefully we'll learn more about this. Yeah, we'll see. I know some people are going to complain. This is a really short one. <laughs> it is a short oh, one. You've left it on the, oh, no. the Reuters. Uh Unfortunately, I think what's happening here is that, well, first of all, we didn't have a lot of government news this week. Well, because, yeah, there was a holiday. It was a four-day week in the U.S. And uh, AI is just, it's throwing everything off. Yeah, it, the, it's all backloaded. So Friday is massive. Yeah. If you feel left out, now is a great time to mention that you could watch it all in one. Mm. How would you do that, Krista? Patreon.com and floatplane.com. Level one. Look us up. We'd appreciate it. And plus, when you're on the Level 1 Patreon, of course, you're with the most beautiful and talented people in the world. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We really <laughs> appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.